Read the freaking form. Hey, Pinnacle Studio peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Pinnacle Studio love from PinnacleStudioPro.com. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a little bit of manual love. All right, but well, it's not going to be hands-on or anything like that, okay? But before I get into all of that, I want to give a quick shout out to Jim M. Jim M makes videos using Pinnacle Studio on his channel, and his channel focuses on fishing and instructional do-it-yourself videos. So head over to his channel, check it out, watch his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, go ahead and subscribe to his channel, all right? Now, Jim M makes his videos with Pinnacle Studio, and he is a subscriber to our channel, Pinnacle Studio Pro. So if you want to get a shout out, make sure that you go down to the link in the video description, click on that, head on over to the form, and fill it out. If you meet all the criteria, read the freaking form. Then you too can get a shout out on our channel for one of our videos. So back to the subject at hand. A lot of people online have been asking me, hey Malik, where can I go find a great manual for Pinnacle Studio? So I'm going to go ahead and break that down for you in this video and show you the places to find the best manual for Pinnacle Studio. So let's jump off into the world of the internet and make it happen. Here we are in Pinnacle Studio 20 Ultimate, and I'm about to break down the first way that you can get a manual for Pinnacle Studio. Now, whether you're under the Welcome, Organize, Edit, or Author tab, there should be a question mark up here at the top left for help. If you click on that, and the first option you see here is User Manual. You click on that. It'll bring up the browser of your choice, whatever your default browser is. And then you have a video tutorial section where you can see some great videos from yours truly. And after that, you have a user guide PDF. So if you click on Pinnacle Studio user guide PDF, it brings up the PDF for you. Now, from here, you have a few different options. You can download it. That way you can have access to it from outside of the program. You can print it so you can have a paper copy of it if you'd like. And then you can add bookmarks to pages that you want to be able to uh, go back to and reference at a later time. So this is really just a scrolling menu here. So you just kind of scroll through to find things in it. And you can see it is packed full of 469 pages of information. So you got uh, the library, uh, using the program, the movie editor, corrections, effects, a whole plethora of different things. If you do control F on your keyboard, you can search something. Well, before I hit enter, you can see that it shows us one of 74 times that title editor is referenced. So if you hit enter, it'll go to the first time or the second time, third, fourth, all of that good stuff. So you can search things like that if you need to search something specific. Otherwise, just feel comfortable just scrolling along. Uh, you can zoom in or zoom out. You can make it fit the page so that you get a full view of the manual. And so this is basically going to give you a lot of great information on using the program and you can use it to answer a lot of questions all right but is it the best manual for pinnacle studio in my opinion it is not the best manual there's something that is better and it is this pinnacle studio 20 plus and ultimate revealed your boy jeff naylor he is the Pinnacle Studio guru, as I have stated several times. He's uh, worked in professional work um, for TV and all types of stuff. But just put it this way. He knows Pinnacle Studio. Okay. He knows the program. So this book 
will give you a plethora of information, including things like uh, basic principles, um, keeping your projects in sync, uh, multicam, motion tracking, project bins. He's got all the information in this book. So if we just kind of jump through a few pages here, you get an idea of some of the content in the book. Just a bunch of stuff on here. What I like is this, this type of section here. Like you're not going to get this in a regular manual, like studio for experienced users. So if you use previous versions of Pinnacle studio and now you're jumping into Pinnacle studio 20, you're going to be a little bit confused. This book answers a bunch of those questions. Like where's the storyboard? Uh, why can't I see my title? I can answer those questions for you right now, but they're all in one place. So all of those things that those um, legacy users of Pinnacle Studio end up getting confused about in a new version, it's all here. Those questions are answered for you. Um, then he breaks down all of the different things that you could even think of using Pinnacle Studio for and some things you didn't even think about that you need to know. So I love this book because Jeff not only covers the practical use of the program, but he also covers how to get down with your video shooting, uh, video captures, uh, what's happening, why are you getting drop frames, things that you might not understand. He breaks down, explains it, what it is, and tells you how to deal with those issues. So this is a great book. And not only does it have, you know, table of contents, of course, uh, I'm only going to get access to whatever Amazon's going to let me see right now. But you've got illustrations to help you understand things in the as you go along and read as well so there's a lot of powerful information in this book and i definitely recommend you check it out and you pick it up so right now as of the time of the making of this video the book's about 45 dollars new um, i will have a link to the book in the video description so that link will be an affiliate link so if you use that link i will get a small commission to um help me make more videos for you guys. You'll pay the same price if you use my link as if you just went to Amazon yourself and just looked for it yourself. So I'd appreciate it if you guys use that link and help your boy out so I can continue to make videos like this for you. All right, Pinnacle Studio peeps, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. Now, a few things I need you to do for me. If you wanna get a shout out like Jim M got, go into the video description and leave your shout out request. If you have a tutorial request that you would like me to do a tutorial on, go to the video description and fill out the tutorial request form. Now, if you like the content in this video, make sure you click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction, all right? Also, got any comments, need some help with some stuff, go ahead and leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button and click on that bell. When you do those things, you get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube, and that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.